Bloom News Brief. More info at fullandbloom.com. In the February 23rd issue of The Hollywood Reporter magazine, Kisses Paul Stanley reminisced about the band's 1978 film, Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Park. On how the film came about, Stanley said, When we were introduced to the idea of the film, we basically said, Make a film? Great. It was kind of like the Little Rascals. Let's put on a show. There was so much going on at that time. Two members of the band weren't speaking to the other two members of the band. We had both Ace and Peter who would act on whatever whim might cross their mind. They would leave the set in the middle of shooting. In some scenes, we had stand-ins and stunt doubles. And the idea of the talisman, which gave us our powers, clearly we had never heard the term talisman. Look, we were idiots, and we were suddenly put into a position where the Marx Brothers were being taken seriously. I remember at one point being on set at Magic Mountain and turning to my manager at the time, Bill Coin, and saying, I think this is going to be horrible. And he said, don't worry. You should never hear anybody say don't worry. On the final product, they gave us a viewing of the film before it aired on NBC, and I just slid further and further down in my chair. By the time it was over, I was looking at chewing gum on the bottom of the seats. I remember a scene where we were levitating some magic box, and you could see the wires on screen. And in typical Hollywood fashion, when it was over, people were coming over and shaking my hand and congratulating me. For me, it wasn't springtime for Hitler, but it's just interesting how people hold that film in some affectionate memory. And I think that's terrific. I was there and it wasn't. I lived it. And whatever you saw on the screen and whatever dubious thoughts you have about it, let me tell you, you just saw the tip of the iceberg that sank the Titanic. Again, you're dealing with four guys who had no concept of what making a film was, let alone what was entailed in acting. Literally, before each scene, we would yell out, line, and they would feed us the line, and then they'd roll cameras. I said, Gene, Peter, let's go. Let's kill the robots. If I got it all out, that's a keeper. Let's move on. On if the movie negatively impacted record and tour sales. Nothing could impact our sales at that point. It was viewed by the people who loved us as great and by the people who didn't like us as crap. That was part of who we were and who we are. We've never played by the rules. Our only rule has always been no rules. We do what we want. To read the entire interview, click the link in the description. (laughs) 